Hello everybody, River City Reactor here. Have another recommendation for Samson. This is the Sixth Sense. So we'll see what this is all about. Samson definitely has his opinion on things. Let's see what's going on here. Fellow Americans, good morning. Certain dates echo throughout history. The January 6th insurrection. January 6th attack okay. on the United Six States sense. Capitol. The January 6th Capitol insurrection. January 6th. January 6th. January the 6th. January 6th. Including dates that instantly remind all who have lived through them where they were and what they were doing. I heard the speech. When our democracy came under assault. These clear acts of sedition and violence and terrorism. A violent terrorist attack on the Capitol. Such an attack on our democracy. Violent attack to overthrow an election. The worst attacks in American history. If I can't have it my way, I'll burn the whole country down. Dates that occupy not only a place on our calendars, but a place in our collective memory. December 7th, 1941. September 11th, 2001. And January 6th, 2021. Wrong. News flash, nobody gives a fuck about it. We all admit that shit was pretty dumb, but that's about it. When we saw the news, we were shocked and we were kind of tense. Like, damn. Then we forgot about it by the 10th. No yeah, that's for sure. The news keeps dragging it out and stretching it out forever and ever. But it wasn't really that big of a deal. Was it right? No. But it didn't require all the news. It wasn't almost the end of democracy as we know it, like they're all saying. They arrested some people for parading. You know, the Capitol Police and those let them into the building in a lot of cases. But anyway, let's let maybe Samson going to tell us all about this. Let's let him talk. We were shocked and we were kind of tense Like damn Then we forgot about it by the 10th Nobody's walking around stressing over Jan 6 It happened and that was it We haven't gave a damn since It's all good when riots are kept in the hood But now you're freaking out Cause this was in the neck of your woods oh, There we go There's a bar It's in the neck of your woods They care about it cause it was close to where they live It wasn't In the Inner city areas and all that stuff that they don't know anything about or they know about but refuse to acknowledge. It was in their neck of the woods. That's what they would, made them worry about it. Very good, Samson. It's all good when riots are kept in the hood, but now you're freaking out because this was in the neck of your woods. Now it's a big deal. Now it gets real. Now it's important to us. Not back then in 2020 when stores were boarded up. Not back then when goods were looted and folks were brutalized. Not then, but right now because it happened to the suit and ties. Huh. That shit's way above my head. We were fucking shit up all year with demonstrations that left dozens dead. But people like Nancy didn't flinch. In fact, they loved it then. People will do what they do. Bitch, ain't that what you said? Yep. Yep, so all those big riots, cities burning, the mostly peaceful protests, all that stuff. They didn't care about that. They didn't care that people were getting killed and injured and losing their livelihoods. But January 6th, that was a big deal to them. Crazy. He didn't flinch, in fact, they loved it then People will do what they do, bitch, ain't that what you said? Yep There's literally compilation videos of you and all your colleagues inciting this kind of crap mm -hmm. So it's very fascinating to watch you swallow your words You put your own foot in your mouth and now you're forced to dial it back mm -hmm. It's fine when you encourage it in my town, in his town, in her town When the whole fucking city's being burnt mm -hmm. down You smile as you give the green light for mobs to rob shit But as soon as it comes close to you, then it's a problem mm -hmm. Got it I Yep as soon as it hits the fan nearby, that's when they worry about it, even though they were safe from all the parading people, for the most part, in the Capitol building. Green light for mobs to rob shit, but as soon as it comes close to you, then it's a problem. Got it. 
I don't condone what happened on that day, especially the officers that were assaulted. I would never dare. But as for all the politicians that were there, you fuck us over all the time, so don't expect us to care. I care more about the store owner that's getting beat down in front of his shop just for trying to protect his place of business. He would probably help me if he saw me on the ground dying. Y'all wouldn't do a damn thing. Shit, you probably say good riddance. Yeah. That store owner would help you, uh, help fight right beside you, most likely. They're just good people that want to keep their livelihood going. But their cities got burned down, their buildings got destroyed. In the summer of love, they called it. That was all a lot bigger protest and a lot more chaos and death and destruction than January 6th could ever be. Probably help me if he saw me on the ground dying. Y'all wouldn't do a damn thing. Shit, you probably say good riddance. You'd walk right over me like I was a crack. And you were trying to save your mother's back like a five-year-old kid. If you did acknowledge me, you'd probably nudge my body and go, Aw, little fucker must have died of COVID. You know it's true. Stop bluffing. They do absolutely nothing that is trusting. Kamala, for you to compare this to Pearl Harbor and 9-11 is disrespectful and fucking disgusting. Bitch. That's the most self-centered thing that I've ever seen. Compared to those events, it's not even worth remembering. Definitely, 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 Samson. Those are two of the biggest moments in the history of our nation. Pearl Harbor and 9-11. Thousands and... Thousands of people died in surprise attacks in both of them. That wasn't January 6th. January 6th was at worst a bunch of rambunctious people being where they shouldn't be. Trespassing. Maybe doing some minor damage inside a federal building. It wasn't thousands of people dying. It wasn't a declaration of war. It was just people being stupid. That's all it was. No self-centered thing that I've ever seen. Compared to those events, it's not even worth remembering. No one that I know is even still paying attention to it. We'd all forget this shit in like a month if nobody mentioned it. Yep. And you know it too. Uh -huh. You're gonna milk this thing and squeeze it till it's bone dry and it won't drip any juice. While your stupid committee's wasting money convicting people from a year ago while CNN runs continuous loops. Yep. We would rather hear you address a million other issues. We don't wanna listen to you cry. Get a fucking tissue. So many things could be dealt with in a jiff, but you would rather sit in front of us and smell your own shit. I refuse to show concern for a group of people that I have no respect for. I won't go there. I'm not happy about it. I'm not mad about it either. I'm just neutral on the issue. I just don't care. Yeah, I'm back. Well, that was Samson. The Sixth Sense. Once again, done in one take, like he seems to do most of his videos, if not all of them. Very well done. Once again, I think I agree with everything. Samson just has a way with words. With his sarcastic humor and biting bars there. I just love it. Hope you liked it as much as I did. Samson, the sixth sense. This is River City Reactor. Until next time, goodbye.